I'm just floating in the middle of the ocean. I can't explain how like amazingly cool this thing is. Look at this glass out. Days like this, eh? I'm cool this is a successful test. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Like the legend of the phoenix All ends with beginnings What keeps the planet spinning The force from the beginning So I thought we'd better play it safe and start off in the creek, burn around a little bit and see how it feels. And then I did pop in a few rods that are offshore rods. So if we're really lucky, we'll get out and get a snapper. Oh, that's all foggy. Yeah, I'll wipe that down. Aim of the game is just to get out on the water and give the motor a bit of a run. So we'll just grab her, push her down into the water. And then maybe we'll wait a sec until the light comes up a bit. Well, we've stashed our wheels. Alright, alright, alright. Light, looks like it's light enough now to get some good footage. So I guess we should start this bad boy up. Alright. Oh, how good is that? Add a little bit of throttle. <laughs> How good's that motor? So far. Oh, look at this guy fanging along. He said first pull every time, and he wasn't lying, it turns out. I was a bit worried. Uh, yeah, this is, I'm gonna put this safety, safety lanyard on, I know, before anyone says it, because I know in the last one I did, I forgot to put it on, and then re realized I didn't have it on. <laughs> All right. We're standing, we are standing. So I guess we just go for it. Yes, so I'll give it a bit of a rock. Feels pretty good. Feels exactly like the other one, in fact. Okay. How good is this? I only just touched the throttle then. Oh, we'll have to get that sounder going in a sec as well. Sip up these pockets a bit. Oh, it's getting shallow. Might need to uh, get out of here. <laughs> Just got to get over that sandbag. All right, here's some slightly deeper water. Just got to get around this sandbar. I don't need to go back this way. But how good's that? I can see so clearly the water. It looks like it's going to be a cracker of a day. Not much wind. So you can see the rope in work here. <laughs> Why don't we give it a little gas, eh? <laughs> wow. Holy smokes, it turns so good. Let's go for a burn. Turn this camera around for a sec. It's proper in neutral in this cruise. The tide will take me out a bit.
that is so much quicker than the six. I can't even explain. I think just like picks up instantly. I get the same feeling as I remember I had a go at Tim's boat and I was a bit like, oh, mine seems slow, so slow all of a sudden. But this thing just goes like a rocket instantly. Like the extra horsepower has made a big difference. I was one, I worried that um, because it was so light, it'd feel really tinny and rocky, but it feels so solid. So, man, highly recommend that extra power. But it does feel like a, you could get out of control pretty quick as well, so I don't think I wind it right out yet. Don't have my sea legs as much at the moment. I'm feeling confident I could take it out through there. It's really flat today, so I should be able to just burn out real quick. Try and get some drone footage as well if I'm game. It's a lot to think about when you're trying to fly a drone and catch it and if there is any wind, so we'll suss that out, but it's sort of everything I hope for so far. All right, I guess we just burn around and go out. What else could I do? What else have I done? I got my rod strapped up there. I just put them in the little holder there. Here, yeah, we'll turn this off. We'll see if we can restart it. <laughs> so, good test for it to shut down and restart. I'll get the sounder going. Got my rod strapped up here just to get through the bar, but I could easily put some in the rod holders and have them running up and down the deck. Cameras are on. Transduce is well and truly under the water, which looks good. All right, I'll have to have a look at that at speed and see what is where it's pointing. But yeah, let's turn the sounder on, then we can get a speed as well. I really should have loaded marks in, but I haven't. Let's see what we get. Bit blurry. Get the hook going. I guess we get out and do a bit of trolling around. That is as good as test, as good a test as any. I've got some safety gear and all the bits and pieces, so. I'm allowed to go offshore, but I just wasn't sure if I had faith in the motor to take it offshore, but that quick test has definitely uh, made me pretty positive about it all. All right, Gold Coast, here we go. Let's go a bit of split screen action, huh? That's what we want. Oh, I should have done this before. Maybe I should have, uh... well, let's add a page. That's the end of button, isn't it? Oh, here we go. Okay, so we want chart. And you want structure scan. I want structure scan to appear at the bottom though. Okay, this is going to be a bit boring, but what I want is I want, same as my uh, sander at home on the kayak, I want structure scan to get a nice wide berth on the bottom, so I want that on the bottom, and then I want the two up the top. Hopefully I can get all three on here. You always could do it. Okay, so I want chart, I want regular sonar, and I want structure scan. But I don't want it like that. I want it like that but I want that down there. So let's select that. I want you up there. Beautiful, that's exactly what I want. So I get the widest sort of sides out on each side down the bottom because I want to read as many sides or as much of the side on each side here. So I want a nice wide area on the bottom and then I want my sonar at the top and I want my charts constantly on there as well. That looks like it. S discard, no, save. All right, now we have our, oh, look at that. Kicking goals. Cool, all right. So it's just in auto at the moment. I haven't set anything else up. So what I really want to see is the speed. I've got our temp, so it's got the things that I want. I've got speed and temp and depth. I might move these up later on when I muck around with the menus. And then I've got a nice wide side structure scan kind of sided scan on each side of the boat. It'll be interesting to see what happens to these two once I get moving at speed. Look at that sunrise. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. We'll have a couple more burns around and then uh, see if this motor restarts. And then I think we might be game enough to head offshore. See if we can get a tuner or a... Okay, let's see a moment of truth. Ha <laughs> ha! Too easy. I'm glad I bought this motor. I was a bit worried, a bit dubious, second hand motor. The guy, like it looked immaculate, inside and out. Inner gear. All right, have we got everything adjusted correctly? Feels pretty comfy. Don't think I'd want to stand any further forward or back. I want to just make sure I got lots of space to sort of move around. This is way better without the seat, way better. We'll see how it handles in the chop. All right, let's go. Get back in the fast area of the creek. Let's go, let's go. That's a crazy pickup. Look at that. 
I just went for a quick blast then and both sounder readings are pretty down clear. I reckon if I turn uh, to one side it might get a bit dodgy. If I turn this way it might... No? Still good. Alright. There's all the mullet going off again. Okay, we'll go for one burn around and then maybe we'll head out. One real good squirt. we head out and see what it's like at the uh, bar. Hopefully there's not too many waves and we can make it nice and easy for ourselves. Respectable. Yeah, very slight wave, very minor. All right, looks good. Doesn't look like that wave's going to pick up too much. Stick on the edge here a bit. Well, look, the surf through this bar doesn't get much easier than this, so we'll take it as a nice, easy ride through today. Let's just go for it. Standing seems all right. Woo. I'm gonna go flying over too quick. <laughs> Cool as this out in the open ocean. She's up all night to the sun. He's up all night to get some. She's up all night for good fun. He's up all night to get lucky. We're up all night to the sun. We're up all night to get some. We're up all night for good fun. We're up all night to get lucky.
that was a super successful test run. Uh, it flies, it really does fly. The first problem with the sounder was I hadn't set the, uh, the units properly once I figured that out. So I was going at 20, what I thought was 20 Ks and I was like, man, that's not that fast. It feels like the pickup's real fast, but it's gotta be going faster than that. Anyway, that was knots in the end. So I figured out it was in knots. We can almost double that. Probably hit about a top speed of 40. I don't think I wound it out to full throttle at any stage. So if you haven't checked out the, um, the part one of this, it's the full setup of this skiff, so go and check it out if you haven't seen it. Motor turned out really good, no problems with starting, started first pull every time. I killed the motor and started it maybe at least maybe 15 times, let's say. Started first time every pull, so pretty damn cool. Happy with that purchase, I'll get it, book it in and get a really good service after this, but got the big trip with Tim coming up, so all in all, very, very cool. Very, very fast, very, very happy with it all. It sort of turned out to be a really cool, cool, cool ride. And just, just even fanging around in the creek was fun, but getting it off ocean, then the, that glass out, it just doesn't get any better for a test run. So super confident in uh, catching some fish, hopefully coming up, coming up soon. Big fish coming soon. So I guess I'll wrap it up. That's part two. Hopefully you're enjoying the new skiff. There'll be lots more videos of this to come. Plenty of more kayak as well. I know a lot of guys are like, oh, this is the end of the kayak. No, it is not by a long shot. I love the kayak, and the kayak can get out in seas that this thing just will not get out in. So there'll be plenty more kayak coming up. Uh, big thanks to all the guys. A lot of guys have signed up to Patreon um, since the uh, two videos ago when I did the uh, sort of the uh, rundown of what's going on and the comp thing. Um, so everyone that signed up, huge thanks. It's a big, big deal. And you know, you, you're instrumental in getting a few bit, bits for this skiff, that's for sure and um, it's gonna be a big deal. So even this trip that we're, you know, that we're gonna do soon, you'll be helping me out a lot with that. And it means that you know I won't be stealing family money to go on trips for the fishing trips and I can justify it a bit more to the wife and all of that. So um, big, big thanks for sign signing on. And anyone that hasn't and would like to sign on, then please do so. There'll be a Patreon link at the end of this and it'll be in the description as well. So, hope you like the skiff. Uh, big fish next week, hopefully. Like big, big as well, so. Uh, yeah, cheers. That's cool. That's all the water that's come out with the bungs out. So we're not sinking. That's good.